I put some local in, mate. I'm sorry. Bruno, a seven-month-old Boston Terrier, has just arrived at Bondi's referral hospital, Sash, in a critical condition. And he's actually been run over by his mother. The poor little guy's got a back leg which is snapped in half and he's also got a tear in his lung which is leaking. So the back leg is the least of his worries. We really need to just get that air out of his chest because that's what's going to kill him. Before a chest drain is inserted, Bruno's owner Jackie is allowed into the emergency room for a quick visit. Hey, little man. Just... Yes, your mum. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. I was driving up the driveway and when Bruno saw the car, he raced over and I didn't see him at all. Well, I went into panic mode to start with because we didn't think he was going to make it and just broke down, basically. Yeah. He's a gorgeous dog. He's got a really sweet little nature. You know, it, it happens a lot. It's awful because the owners feel so guilty and um, you know, I feel really feel for him. It's terrible. Andrew must now plunge a trocar into Bruno. Have The air that's trapped between Bruno's lung and chest wall has to be sucked out urgently before the puppy's system crashes. Come on. At Sash, Andrew's attempting to put a chest drain into car accident victim Bruno. got to get it in the right place because if you're wrong you can hit the lung you can hit the heart and that would just be disastrous you're actually making a hole in the chest wall okay. so it's a real race to seal that off and suck the air back out before the animal crashes oh, it's dropping in here. Bruno's blood oxygen levels suddenly start dropping if they plummet too far the puppy could go into cardiac arrest Come on, buddy Ideally, his blood oxygen level should be above 95%, and now it's dropping to below 85. We just need to stabilise him quickly. How can you go from 96 to 85? Two seconds. But only a few minutes later, the tension starts to ease as Bruno's blood oxygen levels begin to climb. 94. That's a good number. Bruno's now being hooked up to a pump that will keep sucking the air out of his chest overnight. There you go, little man. Says, what's going on? He's eight kilograms. He's taken on a car that weighs practically a ton. I mean, he's alive, but he's not out of the woods yet. At Sash, Bruno, who was run over by his owner, has managed to survive a life-threatening torn lung. X-rays have confirmed it's completely healed. Now the emergency team can start operating on his badly fractured back leg. Bruno's battle's not over yet. Going into surgery is going to be the biggest test on his lungs. When he's under anaesthetic, that could re-rupture the torn lung and then we could go straight back to square one. A specially contoured plate is moulded to the bone and attached with a series of screws to stabilise the leg. Out of money. It's a difficult operation to get the leg aligned perfectly, but after several attempts, Andrew is finally happy. That's come together really nicely. It's worth the struggle. His future's looking pretty good, yeah. I think um, Jackie would be very happy with with him in a, in a couple of weeks' time and he'll be running around the place again. I'm exhausted, Mum. I need to sleep. You're a good boy, Bruno. You're a good boy. Hey, I take this for a kiss. Thank you. Yes, this is a good boy. Lucky survivor Bruno is ready to go home. It's all clear for his lungs and his legs should be fully healed in eight weeks. Hopefully he'll, he'll have learnt his lesson. He'll steer clear of cars from now on, but uh, they do tend to forget. Yes, she is. Oh, oh it's, it's exciting, isn't it? Hello, beautiful. He's shaking like a leaf. Yes. Hello, mate. Well, he knows you were behind the wheel of the car that yeah. got him. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that. Hello, gorgeous no. boy. Okay. He's got to learn to run a bit faster. Yeah, you got to learn to drive a bit slower. He's such a cute boy. Oh, it's really good. So pleased to have him coming back home. Yeah, it's a relief. I can stop worrying about him now. <laughs> Little tough nut.
Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.